Hey guys, how's it going? And today I'm going to be showing you 11 fun little sort of car park jibs you can do pretty much anywhere. I learned most of these literally just in like my driveway when I'd get over from school. So uh, I'll go into the first one, which is the fakie. Go. Okay, so for the first one, which is the fakie, what you want to do is literally roll at a pretty steady pace. Just do a tiny little end though. And then as the back goes, let go of the front brake. Just roll back. As you roll back, just sort of try and sort of pedal backwards a little bit. You don't have to really spin. You'll get the idea of it just depending on what gear you're in. Um, so I'll quickly show you how to do that now. But... Right, so the next one to learn is a crank flip. So you can learn these literally just without doing a bunny hop into them. You can literally just jump like this and go. And do it, start off like that. And then the next time you try it, just try and do it with a bunny hop. So I'll show you how that's done. Okay, so the next one is basically just trials hop. So you can literally roll forward and just do a little endo. And as your back wheel's in the air, just lock the back brake and then just roll back. Just keep the front brake locked and just roll back. And then you can just try and bunny hop. And just as you get better at them, just see how many you can do. There you go. Okay, so for the next one, it's an abubica. So basically all you need for this is literally just a little hill like this. It can be a hill on the road or in a car park, anything like that. And all you want to do is just approach it. And as you get near the top of the hill, just literally just almost pull back and do a tiny little bunny hop. And as soon as you feel the back wheel go in the air, just lock the back brake and just try and hold it in a stall. If you get that, once you, what you want to do next is literally just bunny hop out, let go of the brake and then just fakey out like I showed you before. And then you'll probably get that down. Okay, so the next one is a one-handed pull-up wheelie. So for this one, I'm going to need to put the seat up. Um, so that definitely helps doing that. Just put it up to where you'd normally ride, but if you're you know, doing like XC or something like that, and then you're good to go. Okay, so for this one, it's, it's quite, it looks quite difficult, but it's actually a lot easier than you think. So how I learned it was I started just keeping my hand on the left side like normal with the brake and then just have my other hand on the frame and just you know you can literally just pull up like like that and get used to doing that and just every time you do it just take another finger off and then as you take more off you can eventually just take your whole hand off and there you go okay so the next one's called a cardigan it's probably one of my favorite things to do really on the flat ground basically what you want to do is just lay the bike down and make sure the key to this is basically making sure your pedals are flat First of all, what you want to do is literally just run into the bike, put your foot on the outside of the pedal, almost so it's hanging over a little bit, just over the edge. And once you've done that, the next step is to basically hook with your foot, hook the seat up. And you want to be leaning quite far right. You want to be leaning quite far into the bike. And then as you push through, just grab the bars and then you can ride away. Right, okay, so the next one is basically a nose bonk manual. For this, what you want to do is you can do it on over a jump, or you can do it on just flat ground or on a curb, anything like that. You just basically just want to bunny hop and then do, first of all, a little nose bonk. So you basically, when you're in the air, just literally punch the front wheel down and you can do that, say, on top of a lip, something like that. And then what you want to do next is try and land that in a manual. So if you don't know how to land in manual, I made a video on that quite about a week ago. So you can check that out. I'll put it in the link in the description. Um, and then, yeah. So I'll show you how that's done. All right, so the next one, I don't really know what it's called, but I just saw someone called Josh Lewis do it. I'll put his Instagram in the video now. Um, what he did was he literally, he rolled forward. You just do an endo, and then what you want to do is roll back, a bit like when you're doing the back hop, but then jump both your feet onto the tires. As you do that, you want to basically try and spin the cranks round as you take your feet off and then land on the tires. And then once the pedals spin round, just jump back on and catch it. And then you can just obviously get the front wheel back down. So I'll show you how that's done. All right, so the next one after that is basically an endo 180 to sort of a, a 180 pivot round after it. 
what you want to do for that is just first of all get used to doing endo 180s so start off trying to just do like an endo 90 and just keep progressing to get the endo 180 and what you want to do is just lock the front brake to do a stop here and just look around and twist the hips as well and that'll just keep bringing the back end out once you've got that down what you want to do then is lock the back brake while you're doing that pivot 180 and what that'll do then is when that lands if you swivel around again with the momentum you'll actually just do a 180 and it's pretty effortless really so here's how that's done okay so for the next one this is called the back wheel bad boy and for this what you want to do is roll forward go into an endo and then roll back like we did last time put your back foot on the tire and then with your front foot what you want to do is try and spin your crank round to do a full rotation for a crank flip and then put your front foot back on and then get your back foot back on and just roll away Okay, so for the last one then, it's basically a stair fakie. For this, you can either do an endo 90 into it like we've done before, or do an endo 180. I think an endo 90 is probably easier to start off with. And all you want to do is basically just fakie like you usually would, it's just a bit bumpier. So it looks a bit more intimidating than it actually is. So here's how that's done. Okay, so that's 11 car park tricks you can pretty much do anywhere they're all pretty fun to do they do take a little bit of practice the harder ones but what i did is i started off with the easier ones and then it links together with the harder ones at the end so i hope you like the video hit like if you did enjoy it and i'll see you next time